Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. Guys, today I create really glossy and shining logo animation in After Effects. So firstly guys, I create new composition. Guys, presets. I take this one. This is my full HD frame. And duration, I take 8 seconds. And background color, take anything. And guys, composition name, com1. And press OK. And now, guys, I go on project, right click, import and import file. Guys, open your logo. Select this one. This is my logo and import. Select this logo, drag and drop in main comp. See, guys, this is my final logo. And after that, guys, pre comp this logo. So, right click and pre composition and type like logo and move all attribute check and press OK. Now, guys, I create background layer. So I create new and take solid layer and layer name take BG and guys color. I take dark blue like this one and press OK. Yes, select this logo, drag and drop. Yeah, great. And now guys select this logo and I go to layer and take auto trash and click guys see this is my auto trash settings and apply to children uncheck apply to new layer uncheck and press ok yeah that's it so guys this is my auto trash uncheck here masking and after that I apply Saber plugin I go on effect and video copilot and use Saber layer this one Saber yes and guys change color color glow color I take orange the color code is H I take 25 S 100 and B 100 and press OK and guys glow intensity I take only 10 percent 10 and core size I take 2 yeah See guys, this is my strokes and now go on customize core and core type, I take layer mask. Yeah, see guys, this looking really cool, right? Okay, guys, after that guys, I create this animation. So go on zero frame and mask evolution check. And now guys I go to like three second I go on three second and mask evolution I take two yeah that's it and guys this time I go to 15 frames 0 0.15 and size start size check and guys start size I take zero zero and I go to like 2.10 2 second and 10 frame and start size 100%. Go on back and play. Actually guys, I take half. Go on back and this time play. Yeah, it's good. Okay, and now guys create more strokes animation. So this time I create animation and offset. Go on zero. And end offset check and guys end offset I take 0 and I go to 1 second and end offset I take 100% so again play yeah this one is too much better right okay and now guys I go to 4 second and this time change opacity so guys press T T for opacity and opacity check guys 4 second opacity I take 100% and I go to 5 second and opacity I take 0 0 so go on back and play yeah that's it nice and now guys again I go to project and select this com logo and drag and drop in main com yes and select this logo guys rename logo final 
right and guys i go to 4.15 actually 4.5 yeah and same guys press t for opacity opacity check and guys this time opacity take 0 and i go to 5 second and opacity i take 100 percent so go on back and play yeah great one more time guys i show you right it's so easy and now guys now right click new and this time i take adjustment layer and this time go on effect and presets type cc radial fast blur select this one and apply on adjustment layer go on here guys amount increase randomly like 90 yeah 90 is better and i create this center animation so select and i go to guys like 1.20 frames yeah 1.20 frames and center check and guys click on here this is my center pivot click here and now guys i go on four second four second and change the center again click this here and click yeah right so go on back and play great okay guys after that i create opacity change animation so i go on one second one second select this adjustment layer and again press t for opacity and opacity check and guys go on one frame and opacity take zero i go to two second and opacity take 100 percent go on three second and opacity 100 percent so click on this key i create only key and i go to four second and opacity i take zero that's it guys so go on back and play yeah great see guys this is my final animation right it's looking realistic great okay so guys go on project and i import some optical files like this one this is my optical flare and import select this background go on down and guys all layer should be on change mode i take screen screen yes right and select this optical flare one go on top guys this is my optical light go on screen and go on here yes right back and play guys this is my final logo animation okay that's good so guys this is my final animation is finished if you like my video please share and guys subscribe my youtube channel thank you